we have Russell Wilson looking dangerous, just like his real-life counterpart. Stay tuned for the first episode of the Madden 17 Reg Series. Regular team head-to-head -head coming right up. What is up guys, Zan from Forward Progress Madden, and as you can see, we are starting up some regular team head-to-head. -head. This is something that a lot of people in the community still want to see. There's a lot of Madden Ultimate team going on, a lot of draft champions going on, and don't worry, we'll be doing a lot of that as well. But, for right now, we're going to be talking about the regular rosters, and this mode is still very, very good. Um... I, I enjoy playing with regular teams. I enjoy sometimes just sitting down, playing a game with the Seahawks. Maybe I use my hometown Bears. You know, sometimes I'll just use a random team. So if you guys want to see a team that I have not used or if you have a request for me, be sure to leave a comment below to let me know about it. So as you can see right here, we have Russell Wilson running all over the place. Our opponent running a four-man rush, but we get hung up and fumble. Fortunately, we have our offensive line there to pick up the fumble for us. It's going to bring up second and 17. Got us in the pocket. We are able to move out, get to the outside, and we eat a huge hit from Vic Beasley Jr. Fortunately, we hold on to the football. This time, we're going to hold the running back in the pocket. He doesn't pick up the man up the middle, though, and we take another sack. Fourth and 12, we go for it, and let me explain why we go for it right here. And as you can see, I probably would have had it, but our team was really tired on that play. Uh, the reason we went for it is we were on our opponent's 40-yard line. I didn't feel exactly confident kicking a 57-yard field goal. And if nothing else, I get to see what my opponent likes to run on fourth down. So I got to see that early in the game. I know that he loves two man under in the clutch scenario. So that went into the memory bank for the rest of the game. So not a, not a bad trade. I, you know, I sacrificed the 20 yards I would have gotten maybe, maybe 30 yards on a punt uh, for knowledge that my opponent loves two man under in a clutch down. But as you can see now he's moving the ball on me. So he's running the counter down to my 18. Throws a smoke screen, but I had a hard flat out there. He's lucky I didn't pick that off, to be honest with you. This time we come in, Brandon Browner with the sack, and the ball's getting moved all over the place, but the Falcons dive on it and settle for a field goal. Good kick by him. We're starting to see players actually making their field goals now in Madden 17. So on the ensuing kickoff, I'm going to return it out, and we are able to get up to the 25-yard line, which is where it would be for a touchback this year. Now, Russell Wilson taking another sack. Rashad Hageman coming around that left end, giving me some trouble. Now we're going to throw a dump down to Thomas Rawls on the rounded off in powder and out of the backfield. So check out that tip on rounded off ins and outs that I put up yesterday. Be sure to check that out. We're going to deliver a nice dot over the middle of Paul Richardson, and now we're starting to look good. We're moving the ball a little bit, throwing some nice passes, taking off with Russell Wilson, using his feet gonna hand the ball off on a base to Thomas Rawls and we are in for the lead seven to three after the extra point feeling pretty good at this point we you know we had our first drive we see that our opponent's giving us running lanes with that base rush he's not really applying any blitz pressure to us and when we do get time in the pocket we have guys running wide open so it's all about getting our protection right we felt pretty good about blocking Thomas Rawls on most of the passing downs and I think that's what we're gonna do going forward here, Nickel Normal is the defense here, and he has Julio Jones on that left side. And I was pretty stubborn, honestly, for the you know the entire first half, most of the second half, before I make a huge change that helps me ice away this game. But you can see he's got Julio uh, Julio Jones working as his number two receiver, and he was working against Brandon Browner, and that's why I moved Brandon Browner into the slot. But he's really carving me up here on the left side. Julio again on a spectacular catch, one-handed catch on the out route. That time he keeps dropping back and allows our edge rushers to get around. I highly recommend climbing the pocket this year, guys. It's really, really, the, it's absolutely the move. As you can see here, just force feeding Julio too much. We had double man coverage and zones to the inside. So we had him super bracketed. Getting loose with Thomas Rawls, precision spin move back to the inside, picks up a first down, and we're not going to get stupid. We're just going to run the ball. And uh, Russell Wilson looking pretty good. I would say he had about 60 yards rushing in the first half. Second half, we get the ball to come out on a touchback. We're going to deliver a drag over the middle. Now we're going to deliver an out pattern to Tyler Lockett, the breakout star for the Seahawks receiving core last year. Going to be a big-time player for him this year. Now we're looking for Thomas Rawls on that rounded off in pattern out of the backfield stiff arm gonna make a third and two and we deliver an absolute seed down the seam to our receiver for a first down 
now stepping up in the pocket. He is ready for it, but we're able to dump it off on stick. The thing about this offense, and I'm feeling great in this offense at this point, is that I, I really feel comfortable in the pocket with my pocket presence. I'm able to kind of read how the rush is going. I know where to step up when I get flushed out, and I know what to do when there's pressure coming. So we take the field goal to go up 10 to 3 on this drive, and we are going to kick off to him. He's going to take the kneel down this time as he's not able to get to the 25-yard line on the return. So this time, Michael Bennett coming around end, and he's going to eat the sack here. Again, more pressure coming. We have our defensive ends, our nickel back. He's going to go to a screen, and we almost pick it off with a defensive tackle. Devonta Freeman, though, is going to get it. No gain on the play. We're going to force a punt. Feeling really good. We got a, two, a possession lead, and we're just trying to get cute here with Tyler Lockett on the punt return. I don't recommend doing that, but wanted to see if he would click on and dive. It's early in Madden 17, and most people's tackling skills aren't up to par yet. So just trying to do some random stuff here. Again, going back to that route out of the backfield to Thomas Rawls. We are just trying to milk the clock away. Safe throws, and look at that dot. Jimmy Graham makes an appearance for the first time in the fourth quarter. I was running a lot of four wide receiver sets, so Jimmy Graham didn't see much field, and that was honestly right there, the throw of the game. You saw it in the intro, Russell Wilson stepping up, just making moves, holding on to the football on scrambles, looking really good. So right here, just trying to stay inbound, stretch the clock out as much as possible. We're able to take it to the two-minute warning off of that. Now we're going to scramble with Russell again. No real gain there. We are content to take a field goal and go up by two possessions with a minute 50 left. So if we're smart, we just play bin but don't break defense, make our opponent take as much time as possible to score if he's gonna score. Our opponent going to a PA shot, throws it into coverage and we drop the pick off of the tip there, going to Julio. And as you notice on this drive, we went with Richard Sherman over there on that left side against Julio. We're not letting Julio work against Jeremy Lane or Brandon Browner. Here, paying all the attention to Julio. He throws it into traffic underneath. Fourth down, good route down the seam. A little bit of an inside release on that streak. He throws it again, picks up another bit of chunk yardage, and now we're kind of uh, going away from what we wanted to. That time we bracket the slot receiver. We're able to force the incomplete pass. Breaks a sack, and this is an amazing play. Play of the game for him. He's able to dump it off. Devontae Freeman, precision spin, and he falls in for the touchdown to make it 14-10. to He takes the extra point, and now I'm starting to sweat. My opponent has two timeouts, and the onside kick is recovered by Paul Richardson. We're able to preserve the lead, at least for now. We're going to run the ball on the power O. He's going to take a timeout. Now we're going to go PA power O. We're able to dump it off to Jimmy Graham, his second appearance, but he's made two huge appearances in this game, and we're able to kneel it out for the victory. So Russell Wilson, perfect passing in the game, almost 100 yards rushing. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, and we'll see you next time.